Hi, it's hard to find a fast and secure free VPN service right now. But in this short video, I will tell you about the best one. I have been working with this service for a very long time and it has never let me down. Here are some useful life hacks that make it truly one of the best in the best VPN category. Look closely at the screen we are studying. Surfshark VPN's high price is balanced by an unlimited number of devices per account and an excellent feature set. Surfshark has a lot of additional privacy features and takes the extraordinary step of not limiting the number of devices that can use a single account, making it a great value for money, even if the asking price is a little high. The company also deserves credit for the efforts it is making to improve transparency. Surfshark recently raised their monthly subscription price to $12.95 per month. Like many VPNs, Surfshark rewards long-term commitments with big discounts. Surfshark's annual subscription costs just $59.76, which is significantly less than the $71.87 average. The company also offers a six-month plan for $38.94. These plans will absolutely save you money, but I still recommend starting with the short subscription possible to make sure it works for you and then increasing to longer subscription terms if you decide you like the service. Surfshark, although pricey, offers excellent value for money. First, it allows you to use an unlimited number of devices on one account, while most companies disconnect you after only five simultaneous connections. Surfshark allows P2P and BitTorrent over VPN on specific servers, and CleanWeb tool also provides ad blocking. However, its real strength lies in the rare features it provides. One such feature is Whitelister, a split tunneling tool that directs application or website traffic outside of the VPN tunnel. Allowing you to whitelist websites is smart as some sites block VPN addresses. This can be anything from video streaming sites to banks. Surfshark's solution is very neat, outperforming most of the competition. Surfshark includes static IPs in its subscription, but you must share them with other users on the same server. There are many different ways to create a VPN connection. I prefer OpenVPN, which is known for its speed and reliability. More importantly, it is an open source option, which means its code is available for research for potential vulnerabilities. Surfshark offers OpenVPN in its apps for Android, iOS, Linux, and Windows. The excellent IKE version 2 protocol is also available on all platforms and is the default for macOS. While OpenVPN is the pinnacle of VPN technology right now, WireGuard appears to be the future for all VPNs. Like OpenVPN, WireGuard is open source but easier to deploy and reportedly much faster than other protocols. WireGuard also uses new encryption technology, which is always good to see. Surfshark rolled out WireGuard to its Android, iOS, macOS, and Windows users in late October 2020. Geographic distribution matters because having a large number of locations around the world to choose from means you're more likely to find one near your home or wherever wherever you travel and provides many opportunities for spoofing your location. Surfshark covers 64 countries with its servers, which is above average. Surfshark provides above average coverage in South America and Africa, both regions often overlooked by other companies. Surfshark also offers servers in countries with oppressive internet policies, including China, Russia, Turkey, and Vietnam. Competitors should follow the lead of Surfshark. In terms of total server count, Surfshark offers a total of 1,724 servers, making it the highest and average server park. It is important to remember that more servers does not always mean better performance, and that the total number of servers depends in part on how many subscribers a company is serving. Overall, Surfshark seems to be good at protecting user privacy. However, security only works with trust. If you feel you cannot trust the company, look elsewhere. Surfshark has revised its privacy policy and terms of service to be more readable with separate sections explaining concepts in plain English. In its policy document, Surfshark emphasizes that it does not log IP addresses, browsing history, use bandwidth, network traffic, or even connection timestamps. This is exactly what you want to hear from a VPN company. I suspect that the company can provide this level of anonymity in part because it doesn't place restrictions on the number of devices or connections, so it doesn't need to monitor its users as closely. 
The company collects some information, including aggregate analytic data, as well as account information and billing history. The company also knows that it obtains advertising IDs from third parties, citing Google Play as an example. These are identifiers that you can reset yourself and are used in place of immutable identifiers like your phone's IMEI. A Surfshark spokesperson explained to me that these IDs are used to determine if the company's ads are affecting installs. There are no ads in the app. I appreciate the disclosure in the documentation, but Surfshark should better contextualize the use of these identifiers. Surfshark offers a surprising number of advanced features such as split tunneling, which, as mentioned above, is called Whitelister. This tool allows you to determine which sites and applications should be routed outside of VPN tunnel by adding URLs or applications to the list. Anything whitelisted will not slow down the VPN or get blocked if the site or service is blocking VPN users. It will not be encrypted either. This is a handy tool if you have a low security tasks that require bandwidth like video streaming or critical sites that block VPN use like some banks. In a way, the opposite of Wildlister is Multihop, which does exactly what it says on the cap. You can set up a VPN connection through multiple VPN servers instead of just one. This further obscures your online activity even in a part of Surfshark's infrastructure that looks a bit like the very simplistic Tor network. The downside is that you will experience even greater latency and lower download and upload speeds. Unfortunately, you cannot arbitrarily choose two locations. Regardless, this is a rare feature that I'm happy Happy to see in the app. Also of note is camouflage mode, which masks your VPN traffic to be normal HTTPS web traffic. Other VPN include this feature under different names, and this is especially useful if you are in a region that blocks VPN use. Depending on where you live, video streaming services like Netflix can provide you with different content. With a VPN, you can spoof your location by jumping to a remote VPN location to access content not available at home. It is for this reason that Netflix aggressively blocks VPN usage. Fortunately, with Surfshark, this shouldn't be a problem. I had no problem streaming Netflix when connected to a US VPN server. However, keep in mind that Netflix is playing a cat and mouse game with VPN companies. Surfshark has developed several privacy tools that go beyond VPN protection. A custom DNS service that provides additional privacy called Smart DNS. Adblocker under the brand name Clean Web. Hacklock, which warns you if your account has been hacked, similar to Havel being pwned. And the privacy enhancing organic search tool called Blind Search. Note that both Hacklock and Blind Search require an additional 99 cents per month. This is a good start, but not particularly compelling given the high cost of the basic search. Service. Surfshark has client apps for Android VPN, iOS VPN, Mac OS VPN, and Windows VPN. The company also offers a Fire TV app, which is rare. There are Surfshark plugins for Chrome and Firefox browsers. Note that VPN browser plugins spoof your location, but they usually encrypt your traffic over TLS and not over a VPN protocol like OpenVPN. The company offers its own DNS resolver for Xbox and PlayStation, but doesn't offer apps for those platforms. It also provides instructions on how to use Surfshark on Linux and how to configure routers to use Surfshark. Surfshark has a generous, unlimited device policy allowing you to connect as many devices as you like. In addition to VPN protection provided by its superior desktop applications, it also provides rarely seen features such as a split tunneling and multi-site VPN. Surfshark also boast some of the best speed test results we've seen this year, and that was before it rolled out new VPN technology. The company has also worked to improve transparency, revise its privacy policy, and implemented RAM-only servers. Overall, a good product.